your thoughts on how the season went? You, you, looked, you were smiling all year long, so it didn't look like it was too bad. No, nah, I mean, it was pretty good, you know. Um, uh, great to be out there uh, playing ball, you know. And I always have fun doing that, and you know, being around these guys has just been great. And you know, I'm happy with how the year turned out. It could be better, but you know, things happen, and you know, we should be good next year. Who do you type, who do you type with on the team? I mean, do you do you go to Perk a lot for advice, or I mean, do, who do you go to? Everybody, I talk to everybody, you know. Perk is like my big brother. We hang out a lot. We talk a lot. But when it comes to advisors, you know, I try to see it was everybody point of view on you know anything I want to talk about, and you know, it's been great. What is this whole experience been? Take us all the way back to summer league, when when you became part of this organization. What's this whole experience been like for you? Uh, it's been great, you know. Um, um, just, you know, uh, I remember I signed in July um, in Orlando, start working out over there, and, you know, it seemed like a lot was expected, and once I really got into it, you know, everything was out there, you know, all the, uh, the, the sources you need to be successful was out there, it was for you just to go get it, and, you know, been working out with everybody from when I landed in Oklahoma and you know you walk through the door there's you know there's Flash want to talk to you about something there's Ayana there's everybody there's Sharp everybody want to help you to get better and it's 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 been great and I I say consistency on doing all those things really helped me you know throughout the whole season and how it turned out. What were some of the things that the, that the coaches and, and Sam talked to you about to work on over the summer, what they'd like to see you do? Um, mostly they told me not to settle. You know, um, I had a great year and they say, you know, um, I shouldn't settle. You know, i got to come back hungry for more and, you know, just keep working, you know. And, Tell me not to take so much time off, you know, to let to let go of what I, you know, I accomplished so far. You know, it, it's I, I don't see if it's as good as I want it to be, but you know, it tell me it's a process. You know, I had a great progress this um, season. I just gotta come even hungry for more. You know, as this summer keep going on and heading towards the next season, I just gotta want even more. Talk about your demeanor. Have you always been this nice a guy, or <laughs> I mean, were the pre did something change in the previous stops to say, hey, I got to take a a different outlook or a different approach to playing ball? Or? Um, I I could say it changed to, throughout my whole career. You know, um. Maybe I, the way I was approaching things didn't really work, and you know, you, as time keep going and as a, as you keep growing, you know, you keep realizing, you know, there's stuff you can change throughout your life to be a better person, and it's working this way, and you know, that's the way you gotta stick with. Has this so far been in your NBA career your most rewarding or or satisfying season that that you've had in the NBA? So far, I should say, yeah, you know, um, I haven't played a lot for the past three years, and, you know, I, I, I never really worried about that, you know, um, even though I wasn't as happy. You know, now I'm happy, actually, you know, every time I come to work, every time I go in the game, if I meet up with my teammates, you know, that, that's the key to me, you know, just trying to be, you know, just trying to be happy has been the key to me, you know. Um, I used to stress a lot over things that I couldn't control and they didn't do me no good. And, you know, now I just come over and want to work hard, you know, for my teammates. They, those guys, I talk to them all the time and, you know, maybe we rub off each other nowadays, you know. Everybody just want to compete. As much as we joke around, but when it comes to compete, we all compete. We fight during practices. 
when we get out of it, we're best friends. So it's working pretty well. Where, where will you spend your summer? What what will your off-season work entail? Do you know? Um, so far, I'm gonna be here most of the time. That's that's what I agreed. Uh, I talked to uh, our Coach Mark Bryant and other coaches. I'll be around uh, working and. and so that's the only thing I'm going to do this, the whole summer, just work. You may have already touched on this in your last answer. Right. But is is there something about your experience and the changes you've been through that you're like, really proud of? Um, <laughs> um, I don't know how to answer that, but, you know, like, it's, it's just been like a roller coaster throughout when I got drafted till today and you know is to be where I am right now, you know, I I'm just happy, you know. That that's all I can say, you know. Um be able to come to work and see how everybody approaching things and it's just been great to me. you start you started a few times. Were you less nervous than you envisioned? Were you more relaxed? I mean, did you feel at ease right away when in those moments? Nah, it wasn't ease right away. Um, every time I go out there, I, I was nervous as a starter. You know, I, I usually like to see how the game go and then go and play my minutes. Um, you know, the first few games when I started, I was nervous, but you know, as, as time keep going, you keep getting comfortable and. That's the key, you know, I got comfortable on going over there and, you know, knowing that everybody just want me to bring the energy and, you know, just be alert and active all the time. You know, we have guys that can score, that's really not my concern. You know, I got a rebound, I got a block shot, I got a set of flare screen, I got a set of good screens and, you know, not worrying about fouls. That's another thing that actually maybe helped me get better, you know. I go over there. I used to go over there and play, worrying about if I get fouls, I go out. But coach would tell me, go over there, you can foul and play. You know, you know what to do. You go out there and play, and not worrying about fouls is that's that's helped me. That helped me a lot. You know, just growing up as a player. You know, um, and building my confidence and be comfortable on the court. Can you talk about some of your memories of, of the work you did in the community in Oklahoma City this season? Um, it's been great. Um, did a lot. Of, um, I like. I, I like. I like um, the book bus. Um, we used to go over there and uh, give the kids, you know, books. It's it's been great. Um, the kids, you know, to just see the kids how happy they are to meet us and see the smile when you know. You know, they you can take them to the library and get them a book, but to see us, you know. People who they look up to, giving them the books, they give them, they give them even more. They want to read even more. You know, uh, we did book book by sometimes the kids say, "I already have this book, but I just want to come get another one." You know, it, it's just been great, and you know, the people over here are just so welcome, and, and everybody's just great, and you know, I had so much fun doing that.